your regular Christmas story. But how many realize that Jesus is real? Yes, he is. I will want you to turn to the gospel according to Matthew and also be de dealing with the prophet Zechariah. And I want you to find Zechariah first. It's in the Old Testament. It's one of the minor prophets. Uh, not minor because of the message, but minor because of the length of, of it. Zechariah is, is right in front of Haggai. Yeah, that's going to help you out. And right in front of Haggai and right before Malachi. And so he stuck right there. But the gospel of Carolyn to St. Matthew, when everyone finally say amen. Y'all there? Y'all there in there, Matthew, they said. <laughs> Hallelujah. But Zachariah, I want you to get there. We'll go back to it. One verse, amen. As we take our discourse this morning, St. Matthew's Gospel, the first chapter, verse 21, and it says, And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. And the book of Zechariah, the 10th chapter, amen, verses 1 through 4, amen, we take your time this morning. And it says, As ye of the Lord reign in the time of the latter rain, so the Lord shall make bright clouds and give them showers of rain. To everyone grass in the field, for the owls have spoken vanities, and the diviners have seen lies, and have told false dreams. They covered in vain, therefore they went their way as a flock. They were troubled because there was no shepherd. My anger was kindled against the shepherds. And I punish the goats. For the Lord of hosts have visited his flock of the house of Judah and has made them as his goodly horse in the battle. Out of him came forth the corner, out of him the nail, and out of him the battle bowl, out of him every oppressor together. Amen. As we begin to deal now, amen, the gospel according to Matthew. And then we'll go back, amen, and I'll hold off on my, my thought this morning. She shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Jesus. In the book of Matthews, we find a genealogy. Uh, I got some time in here. You can relax a minute. Noteworthy. In the book of Jericho, you find that it starts in the beginning with the genealogy. Uh -huh. And what he was trying to do, Matthew was trying to trace Jesus' ancestral line. He was trying to prove the fact that Joseph, even though he wasn't his biological father, was in the lineage of David. Yeah. We got to understand that Jesus' birth was also a prophetic birth. Uh -huh. How many realize it was foretold by Isaiah? Someone re read, it, read it earlier about how Isaiah said he shall come. And, amen. The servant song, he came to bring us back in right relationship with God. And we see that, I mean, oh, Matthew was trying to prove it to the Jews. I haven't realized that his name Jesus in the Hebrew, amen, means uh, Joshua. And my God here, and in Hebrew it means Yahshua. Oh, I'm making sense in a minute here. I'm going to take a little time. But he goes on and tell us what Yahshua means, save. Mm -hmm. My God here. Yeah. Yahweh is salvation. Mm -hmm. Salvation has been set free from sin and the effects. How many realize that when Jesus came to this particular time, all trouble was all around. Yeah. Oh my God, and they was being tormented and they was looking for a savior. Yeah. Oh my God, and now we find, amen, not the, the Christmas story that the brother Luke wrote, but we want to deal here in Matthew. And we want to show a historical point of how that the world's been waiting on Jesus. Yeah. My God, here. Yeah. Yeah. She shall bring forth a song and she'll call his name Jesus. Jesus. But as I begin to look at the thing in the office and I begin to deal with it, I said, well, you know, this is now the, the typical story. But I haven't realized at the conclusion of this thing, we find that a baby comes. Yeah. But before this transpired, we got to see all the trouble that they was going through. Yeah. How many realized that they would be, they didn't even have a nationality no more? How many know they was jumped around from different empires right. because of their own sins? Because they wouldn't obey God. They was being led away. My God here. And this time, Roman had came in and changed the language. 
and having realized they were being dictated to, and it was looking for a savior. My God, here, yeah, I got you where I want you now. But as we begin to look at Zechariah, as I move on today, Zechariah has more messianic prophecies. Oh my God, than any other minor prophet, and make mention of both the first, second advent of the Messiah. I think it was Minister Kimbrough mentioned earlier how that the government shall be up on his shoulder. Mm -hmm. That she was going to bring a son and he was going to be responsible for everything going on. Mm -hmm. How many know that we're living in that particular time? Yes. The angel of the Lord is more prominent in Zechariah than any other prophetic writings. I'm going somewhere. Mm -hmm. Zechariah means Yahweh. Yahweh remembers. Mm -hmm. Oh my God here. How many know that the fact that Jesus came is because why? God remembered. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Somebody gonna catch that in a minute here. Yeah. How many realize that every time you cried out to God, God heard you. Yes. And while he was calling, he's already answered. Yes. But how many realize that even the foreign name said, don't make me holler in the head of the day. He was shall be called Yahshua, Yahweh. Yahweh. Yes. How many know his name is Jesus? Yes. It's something about the name Jesus. Right. Uh, it means that when he sent his son Jesus, it says what? God remember. Please. Uh, find some help in here. But as we can look at it here, Zachariah name, his daddy name was Barak. Yeah. Means Yahweh blesses. How many realize that not only do God remember your problems and your trouble and the things you've been through, but how many know that he blesses? Yes. Yeah, can't I can't I can't go here, no help in here now. Lord. Yeah. How many know when you look back on your life and see where the Lord has brought you from? Yeah. Did he remember you? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Don't you get blessed when you remember where God brought you from? Yes. Yeah, I'm gonna preach on it in a minute in hell. But he goes on and tells us today his grandfather's name was I do. Maybe it's the appointed time. But how many realize that it's gonna make some sense in hell, Lord? And how many realize that he said that my daddy's name was the Lord God remembers? Yeah. Oh my God here. And his granddaddy's name was Yahweh's blessings. Yeah. And his grandfather name being that my God at a point in time. Yeah. Hey, tell me your name of the day. Say God remembers. Remember. God blesses. God blesses. But I got to wait till the appointed time. Yeah. 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 Sometimes I got to go through some stuff. Right. Sometimes it feels like God ain't nowhere to be found. But as I begin to remember what God said, I'm I might never leave you. Neither will I forsake you. Uh, I'm going to preach in a minute here. I ain't ready yet. But he goes on to say the whole theme of the book of Zechariah is the glory of God. Yes. How many realize that's what we want to do in this season is give God glory. Yes. Uh, my God, as we begin to look at the text today, as she of the Lord reign in the time of latter rain, so the Lord shall make bright clouds and give them showers of rain to everyone grass in the field. How many realize our God is so wonderful that he reigns on the just as well as the unjust? How many realize that he blesses everybody? How many know the latter rains how, uh, blesses everyone's fields? How many know we serve such a wonderful God? Even the enemies are blessed. Oh uh, my God here. Am I doing all right now? But it goes on to tell us the second verse. For how many know that during this particular time it was one false God after another one? How many know the same thing that was prevalent in his time is prevalent in our time? Yeah. I mean, we got a whole lot of little GODs running around here. Yeah. Do you realize that anything you put before God becomes your God? Yes. Yay, yeah, my God here. Then he goes on to tell us for the hours have spoken vanities. How many know it's nothing? It's emptiness. Yeah. How many know that there's nothing that a, that a, a stature can do? All right. Yay, yeah, my God yeah. here. Yeah. How many realize that we're dealing today with insecure things? Yeah. Things are so insecure. Everything you see, we got to trust in the wrong things. Right. Oh, my God. It's not how many gifts you can have under the tree. Yeah. Oh, my God here. It, that's not to show love. Love is not explicit like that when you can just go buy something. You can't buy love. Right. Oh, my God here. You just can't buy somebody love. I don't care how much money you have. I don't care how much influence you have. But how many know those are insecure things? Uh, we're preaching now. You don't get, you ain't got it yet. How many know that the dividers lies? Because the people had a no true shepherd. They didn't have a true shepherd to lead them in the right path. With pastor trust God. They had to turn and rely on idols and fortune tellers. 
and on other occult practices. How many know we're living in a time? I told you we're going to be no Christmas story. Pastors and teachers will destroy. Confidence in the Bible of God and the Holy Ghost. Ministry of Revelation. Oftentimes, that might cause people to turn to such practices, such as a uh, uh, search for supernatural realities. How many of people are looking for love in all places? They look for things that are not biblical. Woo. How many of us got to be packed up by the word yeah. of God? Yes. Uh, you are preaching now. Right. As I begin to give you my text for the day, uh, tell your neighbor, Jesus is, Jesus is. a nail in a sure place. Uh, I got some help now. How many realize the word sure means convinced? Yeah. How many of y'all are convinced that he can do anything but fail? Yeah. Uh, how many convinced that if I call him right now, he will answer me? Yes. Oh uh, my God, how many know he's able to take care of my children yes, 10,000 miles away? Yes, he is. Uh, how many of you are convinced that whatever I need, he's already yes. Yes. provided? Yes. How many convinced that he is Jehovah Jireh, yes. Jehovah Nisa, yes. Jehovah Shalom? That he is. he is. Oh my God, my goodness here. How many know it's, it's positive re re reality? Yeah. How many know he's reliable? Yeah. How many know a lot of people are leaning on everything? But how many know those things are not reliable? Yeah. I don't care how long you've been on that job, how many know it's not reliable? It's not reliable. They can close at any time. They can come in and say, We're cutting back and you got to go. Yeah. They ain't got no help now. Amen. Tell your neighbor here, but my reliance is. A sure place. Yes, he is. Uh, I'm going somewhere now. Oh, my goodness. In here. The third verse deals. I'm going by the word today. My anger is killed against the shepherds. He's talking about the pastures. Yeah. Woo, and I punish the goats. How many know a goat always bloody? Uh -huh. uh, goats are not sheep. Goats always go contrary to what God wants. Yeah, yeah. Hey, preach on the preacher, preach on me. I mean, all that, oh my God, I'm going to punish you. For the Lord of hosts have visited his flocks of the house of Judah and have made them as his goodly horse in battle. Oh, we're about ready to have some chess now. Out of him came for the corner. How many know that Jesus is the chief cornerstone? Yes. Nothing going on in this world. How many know that the Congress can't run it? It's not about the president Obama what his decision to it. It's not about what's happening all over the world. How many know that people have been killed on the streets? It's not about all of that because why? Jesus is yet in control. Yes, he is. Uh, my God is here. Lord, I'm in here by myself this morning. But how many realize that he's telling us out of the tribe of Judah came the cornerstone. Yeah. Jesus the Messiah be like a nail indicating security. Uh -huh. Yee! How many painters we got in here? How many people that like to hang paintings up on the wall? Yeah. How many of the first thing you do, you got to find the stuff? Yeah. Yeah. I'm a preacher to the preacher today because I ain't got no help out here. But the first thing you do when you look for the wall, you got the first, the wall looks perfect to hang a picture up there. Yeah. But how many of them is not secure? My picture that I spent all this money for will fall and break. So the first thing I need to do, I need to find me a stud finder. Yeah, yeah. And when I find a stud finder, then he let me know there is something. It's a wood there. Yeah. And, and I'm able to drive a nail in the wood. Yeah, yeah. And how many know that it was able to strong enough yeah. to hold up my painting? Yeah, yeah. Down to the end of the time. Yeah. He told them in prophecy. You're going into captivity. Yes. You have to listen to all those other naysayers. You have to listen to all other people. But you have to left your God. Yeah. And God repented of the fact. I got to come down now. But God repented of the fact that he made man. Yeah. And he said man has become a stink in my nostril. So God the I am. Those 
a sure place. And the Bible says, I know that God will stick a man and he says, I'm going to let man do what man want to do. But I heard that was a lie in the tribe of Judah.
But tell you that that didn't do it. When Jesus called, he don't care how drunk you was. And how many know the more I called him, the more I sobered up. And how many know that they're called? I said, Jesus, my grandma, Jesus. Jesus, my mama, Jesus. I have a quick 